What's going on, the John Squad? This is John Plain, your YouTube World Heavy Wrestling Champion here on YouTube. And today I'm going to give the third down for May 19, 2014 edition of Monday Night Raw in London, UK. Let's get things tracking here. Here we go. We kick off the show. We got, we get the intro cut off by the Y family, and Bray starts singing in the ring. Says, "People think it's all right, but everything is wrong." He tells a story about a teacher that called him a piece of trash, and she knew he was evil, but the stands there as a god and a visionary. Bray says that he's got the world in his hands, and the crowd sings his song. He says his payback is this, but she was right about one thing. Bray says that he is the evil that balances the world out, and people get behind him, and he will take John Cena down at payback. He says Luke Harper will put Cena down tonight. Then Cena comes out, so Harper and Rowan run up to cut him off. Cena runs in from the crowd and drops Bray with an attitude adjustment. Then he runs away as Harper and Rowan chase him away. The first match that we kick off with Cesaro with Paul Heyman versus Sheamus. And when that match was Cesaro. The reason how Cesaro got the win, he hits a German suplex with a bridge from the for the win. That match was good. I can't rate it that much, but it was good match. That's all I can just say. It was a very good match. Great matchup between the two with an underhanded win. Yep. So that's the next match. Let's go to the next match of the night. The next match we have is a beat the clock challenge to face Bad News Barrett at Payback. It's we have Big E versus Ryback with Curtis Axel, and the winner of that match was Big E. Whew. A good match. It was okay. Nothing to it. That's all I just got to say is okay match. Next one we have R Truth and Naomi with Cameron versus Fandango and Layla. Everyone makes their entrances, but the match never happens as Summer. Ray makes her way out and starts kissing Fondango. Fond after she lets him go, she tackles Layla and they brawl until Fondango pulls them apart and breaks up and backs up the stage. And the results of that match is a no contest. Next up, we have Daniel Bryan's theme music cues up, but Stephanie McMahon instead comes to the ring doing a yes chant, and she says it's yes for Brian's surgery. That's so kind of stupid. She says it was a success, and the, his chant and, chant and story has been inspiration all over the world, but she has some bad news. Stephanie refuses bad news, Barrett, and does a terrible accent. Then she says that she might strip Brian of the title in give it to someone else. She mentions Kane, Baron, and Batista, and Triple H as being worthy title holders, but she won't strip Brian of his title. Of his title. Stephanie says Brian needs to do the right thing and surrender the title on Raw next week. That is best for business. And you know what? That is not best for business, and I hope Dan Brian keeps that belt. He deserves it. Yes, yes, yes. The yes movement will never end. That pisses me off a lot. Next up, we have Heat Slater with the Union Jacks versus Receive with Lena. That was typically a killer match. Unfortunately, the winner of that match is Alexander Receive. Man. The next match of the night we have is a. Another beat the clock challenge. Raw Dan Raw Van Dam versus Alberto De Rio. And the word of that match was Raw Van Dam and he gets a shot at And he's gonna get the shot at payback against Bad News Barrett. Next up we have Seth Rollins versus Batista. And the word of that match by Viva Disqualification. Seth Rollins, excellent, excellent, excellent match of the night. I have to applaud Seth Rollins and Batista for putting on one great fight. That match was worthy and good. And I'm glad Seth Rollins won. And you know what? I think this match at Payback is going to be awesome building the Shield and Evolution. Oh, boy. Next up, we have Alicia Fox versus Paige. Alicia throws a 
few forearms that Paige gets some shots in before. Alicia retreats and throws her into the barricade. Alicia gets a few more shots in and hits a tilt-a-whirl backbreaker. Then she slaps Paige and whips her in the corner. Paige counters a side headlock with a leg sweep slam for the two. Then Alicia hits a backbreaker and slams Paige into the ring post before kicking her in the head for the win. Alicia puts her puts the rep in a headlock and runs around screaming that she won. Then she puts the king's crown on and pours a soda on herself on the barricade. When, the one in that match was Alicia Fox, and that was excellent and funny. I don't know what they're doing. This is Alicia Fox going crazy or something, just like AJ. I don't know, but Alicia Fox, I don't know what they're doing there, but this is really good, and I hope to see this match at Payback, Alicia Fox versus Paige. Next up, we have Beat the Clock Challenge, Mark Henry versus Dolph Ziggler. And results of that is a no contest failure to beat the posted time. And RVD, like I said before, RVD gets a shot of payback against Bad News Barrett. <clears throat> the main event of the night, we have John Cena with the Usos versus Luke Harper with the Wyatt family. And the winner by disqualification is John Cena. Bray Wyatt attacked John Cena, beat him up, and got on the stage and started. And they sing as Harper mocks Cena with a tank out, and the show ends off the air. I don't know what you all think of that Raw episode, but it was really good. And I'm glad about it. I hope you all enjoyed Raw last night. So, guys, once again, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos from John Pellini. I'll catch you all later. See ya tomorrow. I hope. Hope you all enjoyed. Peace, John Squad. Always, you always are John Squad with me, and you all mean so much to me. So I hope you all really subscribe and like, like my videos. I don't care if you all have to dislike this video, but I think I did an awesome, awesome job at doing this throwdown for you all from last night's roll. Peace, once again.